I'll never forget 1987. Chuck Knoll put Rod Woodson on the field. He was like a third string defensive back. Who knew who Rod Woodson was? So they put him on the field and then I think I promptly throw him an interception. <laughs> and that was his first interception. Picked up by Woodson. He's got green carpet. Rod Woodson goes all the way. Who knew at that moment that that kid was going to turn out to be one of the greatest all time players? Defensive back is like a closer in baseball. You have to be fearless. And Rod had that personality where he was going to go for it. Yoy and double Yoy. What another big play by Rod Woodson. I could easily create an argument for him being the greatest defensive back of all time. Rod became a great player at three different positions, cornerback, strong safety, and free safety. I don't think people realize just how great he was, but I think any quarterback that you talk to that played against him, they will all tell you that he's one of the great players of all time. During his 17-year career, Rod Woodson had 71 interceptions, the third most in NFL history and became the all-time leader in interception return yardage and interceptions returned for touchdowns. Within the framework of the game, the pick six is an important thing. Your mindset as a defensive back, when you get the ball in your hands, you try to take it back to the house. If you can do that, it makes yourself very valuable to the defense. He made so many great plays, you know, so, so many great punt returns. And I think a lot of people respected him because he was the total football player. Woodson was so impressive after only seven seasons that in 1994, he became the youngest player elected to the NFL's 75th anniversary team. You know, there are a lot of great cover corners, you know, who we're talking about, who didn't like to tackle. But Rod never shied away from them. He made tackles, interceptions, and was probably as athletic as any player who has ever played in the defensive backfield. And few defensive backs were tougher. In 1995, Woodson became the first player in history to suffer a catastrophic knee injury and return to play in the Super Bowl that same season. We could talk about the great Gale Sayers well, what he would have been if his knees don't blow out. Rod Woodson, you don't have to say what he would have been. We see what he turned out to be. Then to go to the Ravens and become, you know, a part of that great defense. Hollis rolling out, looking upfield, throws, it's picked off. Ravens intercepted, Woodson, touchdown! Out of Benny Rod, we needed that. And then to go to the Raiders and become a part of that defense. Intercepted by Rod Woodson, 10, 15, 20, he may go. Three different teams, you know, were elevated because he was on the team. In my era, I would have to say he would be the best defensive back total that I've ever played against. And I would argue that maybe the greatest defensive back that ever played. above Jack Lambert? How can you possibly, possibly have him above Mel Blunt? I don't know if I can put myself in front of Mel. No way. When you start talking about the Steelers and Mel Blunt, when it comes to defensive backs, to be behind anybody. I think Mel should take that spot and I should jump back up to seven or so. He was a great player for them. Player of the decade. Joy and double Joy. What another big play by Rod Woodson. He could run. He could jump, he was athletic, he could do it all. I mean, he was a, he was a great football player. Play on the division, baby! He's really good at super techno. <laughs>
really, really fast. When he got the ball after he made interceptions, some of the best running you'll ever see by anyone. Here comes Rod Woodson. See you later. If you're looking at it purely in terms of performance, football ability, how dominant he was out there on the field, heck, Rod might be the number one Pittsburgh Steeler of all time. Rod Woodson goes all the way for the Steeler touchdown. You got to take it serious when you come play us. Our number four Steeler went to 11 Pro Bowls and remains the only player to be selected as a cornerback, safety, and kick returner. I think maybe when I played in my time frame, there were better cover corners. Intercepted by Woodson. There might have been some better safeties. I asked for a big defensive play, and Rod Woodson come through. I think there might have been some better kick returners. Woodson came right through Kansas City like water through a still. But I think putting that all together in a package, I was, I was proud of that. Talent and versatility are important, but to be this high on our list of Steelers, you have to be tough. In 1995 season, he blows out his ACL early in the year and almost unprecedented. The Steelers carry him all year with really one shot and one shot only for him to play, and that's in a Super Bowl. Just the act of keeping that roster spot open says a lot. Rod was in the right place at the right time. You know, he had a coach, Bill Cowher, where a lot of people would have put Rod Welcome to the NFL. All the credit goes to Bill Cower. I'm like, I can make it back. And he looked at me kind of like crazy, like, huh, well, let me think about this. And then the next day he came to me and said, we're going to keep a spot open for you. And I got to play in the Super Bowl. Just the fact that he came back from that, when most people thought he would never come close, shows you what kind of drive this guy had. Rod Watson, many thought he'd never play this year, and he worked and worked. Despite our number four Steelers effort, Pittsburgh lost Super Bowl 30. So why isn't Woodson higher on our list? He did win a Super Bowl with one of Pittsburgh's most fierce rivals, the Baltimore Ravens. Rod Woodson truly was a great player who is so good he can transcend the fact that of all those Super Bowl teams, he wasn't on any. I know he didn't win a Super Bowl with Pittsburgh, but he kept that black and gold tradition of hard-hitting, hard-nosed defense alive. The lack of Super Bowls is not Rod Woodson's fault. Mel Blunt, great player, but he also played with Jack Lamb, the mean joke. How many other Hall of Famers were on the team with Rod Woodson? Probably not.